Second Ezra chapter 8 verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that are in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, and his first begotten son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, which is true name of the Hebrew, is Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the through the spirit. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, that's teaching his word and the truth and sincerity, and the rest of the elect of the house of Israel that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. This is an article, breaking news. One of the worst fires in New York history leaves 19 dead, including children. Nine of the dead were children, including a four-year-old. And this is an image from the incident. Okay. It says a fire alarm at five. A fire alarm fire at a high-rise apartment building has left at least 19 people dead and over a dozen critical and in injured in New York borough of the Bronx. Many are hospitalized with smoke inhalation. The fire broke out on the third floor of the 19-story building on Sunday morning. While the original cause remained unknown, firefighters were called to the site around 11 a.m. local time and say the door to the apartment where it began was left open, allowing the conflagration to spread more quickly. Videos from scenes shown flames and smoke below, uh, blowing out a third-story window as people climbed down a ladder mounted by rescuers. The link will be in the description so y'all can watch the video. It says over 60 people were hurt. According to city officials, with 13 hospitalized in critical condition, a resident cited by the Post commented that the high death toll might be partially due to a fire alarm that goes off all the time, claiming people on the third, fourth, and fifth floors went about their day until they saw the smoke. So in the projects, in the buildings that they live in, the fire alarm goes off all the time, either people playing with it or because... It's broke because more than likely um, living in the house, living in housing, living in the projects, nothing works properly. Everything is second and third hand made or made with broken parts. And, you know, I'd be honest, the people in the projects just break their own shit. So all that plays a part, you know. So people see and that's spiritual, too. Just reading that, that's spiritual. See, it says, due to the fire alarm that goes off all the time. So, because the alarm goes off all the time, when it actually did go off, because there was an actual fire, they didn't take heed to the alarm until they saw the smoke. Figurative to the alarm that we blow doing these lessons, going out there on the highways and byways. We out there blowing the alarm, which is the word of the Lord, given from the Lord, all right, to our people. But they're not taking heed to the alarm. They wait until they see the smoke so they can finally get right with their lives. But by then, it's going to be too late. All right? See, that's spiritual. Matter of fact, let me get that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offenses. So the heavenly father took his mercy or his grace from us. All right. He was no longer having mercy upon us. He was no longer shedding his favor upon us. Okay. He was no longer accepting our sacrifices. He was no longer accepting our, our offerings. Okay. So he said, I will go and return to my place. So they acknowledge their offenses. And what are his offenses? Breaking the Lord's statutes and commandments. 
and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early so when all hell starts to break loose that's when you're going to see a lot more Israelites waking up a lot more Israelites you know you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native American Indians claiming to be Israelites you're going to be claiming to be in the truth just like you see Kanye West saying the 12 tribes of Judah you see a big Sean yeah we the original Hebrews Floyd Mayweather we the original people you got all these rappers and actors and uh, entertainers all some way shape or form talking about Israel because everybody can see that there's something going on on the planet earth all the bad shit is increasing crimes is increasing people are being more uh, evil towards each other so people see something going on and they're hearing the Israelites on the streets teaching and they like they gotta be saying something true all right but read and know I'm afraid to finish this up Mayor Eric Adams call it one of the worst fires in the city's history declaring the impact would be felt by everyone fire department chief Dave Negro or Nigro says victims were found on every floor and were being taken out in cardiac and respiratory arrest calling the situation unprecedented in our city all right now let's get the prophecies because the Lord said that these things are going to happen second Ezra 8 and 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world we are living in the latter times right now we are living in the last days the end of days the Bible refers to these times as the end of days or the latter end the latter time okay because they have walked in great pride and remember the scriptures say that pride goeth before fall and one of the six things that the lord hate is pride thinking that you are something that you are not thinking that you are in control when it's the most high that's truly in control okay so it says, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So we are supposed to be seeking for the glory of the Lord, not our own glory, not what you claim to be doing or achieving, but we're supposed to be seeking to be doing the things that please the heavenly father and his son, keeping the Lord's statutes, commandments and the faith of his son. Okay, loving your neighbor as yourself. Doing the good works. Okay. The reason why these people were judged because they was unbelievers. They was not seeking after the Lord their power. They was walking in great pride. And that's why a great misery fell upon them. Job chapter 4 verse 7. Remember I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So no one innocent perishes. When the Heavenly Father judge somebody, whether they're two weeks old or they're 99 years old, the Lord is justified in taking them from this earth. Okay? Whether they're paying for something they did in their past lives or they're paying for something they did in their, this current present day life. Okay? There's a such thing called reincarnation. All right. Reincarnation is just a terminology. Now, yes, there's fake ideologies and philosophies about it. But the word reincarnation simply means back in the flesh. We was here in prior lifetimes and we come back every couple of generations. Okay. So it says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off? So these 19 people that died, including children, they were not innocent. Okay? And this is why you have to have a healthy fear of the Lord. And this is why you have to do the things that please the Lord. So you won't have, you won't suffer such a harsh death. Okay? They didn't suffer for righteousness sake. They died in their iniquity. Their blood was upon their own head. Okay? 
And more things like this is going to happen. More accounts of this is going to happen. 2022 is going to be even worse than 2020 and 2021 combined. Okay? 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. I want to look up this word um, perilous. It says perilous, full of danger, of risk, exposed to imminent risk of disaster or ruin. Okay. Dangerous, hazardous, precautious, perilous, risky, meaning bringing or evolving the chance of loss or injury. So we're talking about dangerous, hazardous times. This is the days that we're living in, okay? Being or involving the chance of loss. Loss is about to happen. Injury is about to happen. What is the synonyms for danger, okay? Yep. So these, we about to get into some rocky roads, ugly times, uncomfortable times, because we are living in the end of days, Okay? So the way of living, that comfortable, that hamster wheel, groundhog day, waking up, rehearsing the same old bullshit life, you know, go to work, come home, watch TV, play a little bit, do whatever type of fun or entertainment that you do, and then wake up and do the whole same thing all over again. It's coming to an end. All right. Jeremiah chapter 43 verse 11 and when he cometh he shall smite the land of Egypt and deliver such as are for death to death and such as are for captivity to captivity and such as are for the sword to the sword so the Lord has judgments all right that's allotted for all these people okay he has special judgments that's allotted for all these people. Let's get that. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury they lay on sore strokes. In the time of the destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. Fire. Was not this a, 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 a fire? The worst recorded fire in New York history? One of the worst fires in New York history leaves 19 dead, including children. Over 60 people injured. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these was created for vengeance. Okay? Created for vengeance. To appease the one... That created them. Hey, we living in some dreadful times, man. And this is why we have to repent daily. We have to seek the Lord daily. And we have to continue to offer up sacrifices unto the Lord daily. You make sure you sacrifice to your life, your lust, your own belly, your woman, your husband, your kids, your parents, your siblings. Whoever you in love with. But you don't sacrifice on to the Lord. And this is why we in the predicament that we in. Because we not offering enough sacrifices. Acceptable sacrifices on to the Lord. But pretty much that's it man. I pray and hope that you was edified. I'm going to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Waha Rakakwadash. Until next time I say Shalom.